Okay, kids. Here it is. This is the King of Tone, uh, King of Sorry Blues. Huh. Supposedly a knockoff of the King of Tone, but I don't know about that because I never had a King of Tone. But for seventy-nine dollars and ninety cents, I thought, hey, why not give it a try? It's gotten rave reviews all over the place, and you know, seventy-nine ninety can't take the wife out to dinner for that. Uh, I've been using on this particular recording. I'm using uh, my uh, ES330 uh, Gibson VOS, and believe me, this pedal sounds different with a Telecaster uh, in a good way. So anyway, the first uh, riff you're going to hear here is an uh, uh, intro that we do for Ghost Riders in the Sky. Uh, the first one is uh, the uh, clean tone or nothing, and then the second one is engine A, which is supposed to be more of a clone, 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 you know, type of thing, and then engine B. So here we go. So here's the first. This is clean. Settings are gain on both channels, 11, noon on volume, and noon on tone. The next riff is uh, the neck pickup, doing uh, a little blues uh, riffy thing. And so the uh, gain will go down over to uh, 3 o'clock, and the uh, volume will go to 9, and the tone. Uh, uh, at 12, sorry, the volume goes to 9, and the tone at 12, and here is the first one, which is uh, the clean signal, or the bypass signal, like Andy would say, or whatever you want to say. Oop, doggone it. That's clean. Okay, so there you have that. The settings are uh, 3 o'clock on gain, 9 o'clock on volume, and noon on tone. Okay, now the next one is uh, Rumble. You know, good old Link Ray that inspired so many of us. Here is uh, a clean, clean Rumble lick. So here we go. Settings, 3 o'clock. And tone max. So that's the settings. That was clean. Here comes engine A.
Okay, the last one here is uh, my little rockabilly setting with a little bit of hair and also uh, a slapback delay uh, with my DM3. The settings are 11 o'clock for gain, noon on the volume, and noon on the tone on engine A. So here is uh, my uh, little take on rockabilly. And so here we go. that was it. Uh, another high quality uh, recording done with a $69 Kodak ZI-8 done with about a well several thousand dollar guitar and a $79 and 90 cents two-day shipping King of the Blues. A lot of neat little tones in there been fooling around this with this thing now for about four hours since I got it yesterday and uh, I think she'll stay there for a while you know until I seem to get distracted by something else. So anyway, hasta luisti, hasty lumbago. <laughs>